hello guys welcome back to our youtube channel so today we bring to you gist on lola margaret yes a lot of people might not be familiar with her but she's an old face in the nollywood industry this is why she has not been appearing on screen as of late is because she has decided to keep a low profile why because she was once alleged and arrested in the united states for a fraudulent act in 2017, the popular Nollywood actress called Lola Margaret was arrested and charged by the Atlanta police for having carried out fraudulent activities. Margaret was reportedly arrested after a huge amount of money was reportedly deposited into her account and she tried to withdraw it. She failed as a picker actually. It was said that this is not her first time trying to make such withdrawal of such huge amount of money. As we all know and we are familiar with the fact that in the United States they have records for for almost everyone that lives there and if you have an account over there there is no how they won't be able to track and monitor what comes in and goes out of your account the actress was arrested over a strong surveillance which was placed on her account after huge sum were being withdrawn consistently before she was napped the actress who is now an ex-convict because of her incident with the u.s police over the alleged fraud case she was involved in lola margaret's case was followed after a popular singer called dami queen was also nabbed in the united states for using a fake credit card and after this this was when Ola margaret's news also surfaced online it was however released based on the fact that and conditions that she reveals the identity of the character she was working with on the illegal withdrawal and she actually did review the character and this was the reason why she was released and deported down to nigeria the advent of that she decided to keep a low profile she left lagos and moved down to ibadan where she resides now after lola margaret got released she took to her instagram page to thank god she said what else can i say unto the lord then thank you my god is good after her deportation to nigeria she decided to keep and maintain a low profile by not attending any public function as she hoped to rebrand herself and stage a strong comeback to the industry on seeing this so many followers so many users fans and friends of lola margaret had one or two things to say some people felt really bad for her some people defended the fact that she didn't do it while some people were saying that if she had succeeded in all of this she would come out and write inspiration stories of how she had suffered and how god had lifted her this are more with the reactions of users on hearing the news of lola margaret online she might be missing in action she might be missing on big screen this definitely doesn't mean that she's no longer an actress she has a business that she runs but at the same time keeping a low profile has been one of the things that she tried to maintain but people colleagues who live around her have been paying visits to her ever since the incident happened in 2017 but now she's fully back on her feet as she shares pictures videos of herself on her instagram page and also she has been appearing in one or two movies in recent times due to her low profile some of her friends and colleagues the like of lisa silva reached out to her when she celebrated her birthday in march 21 2018 well the nollywood actress and producer reached out to her colleague lola margaret taking to her instagram page to show support for lola she wrote and i quote maggie maggie you are beautiful in and out honey cube please darling you need to put some things behind you and take the next step come back to life as our ever smiling lola margaret note those who say bullshit about you got nothing to offer so keep your head upright and move on honey and if truly you are around my shoulders are available okay i love and miss you my darling friend happy birthday sugar pie hashtag women supporting women end quote this was what lizzie da silva had to say in 2018 when lola margaret celebrated her birthday on seeing this so many users also came and tripping and had so many terrible 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 things to say about this actresses one of the users said and i quote beds of the same feather wire wire together work hard stop tarnishing the already damaged international reputation of the nation worldwide these are the same said people blasting files the bad guy for kicking against internet fraud there are many ways to earn a living without spoiling others be modest in your approach i'd advise that you look for a registered well recognized brutal and registered there as an ashao if you are in Oweri, join the one at azunepa or better still register codedly at orlu street 
Dumbaya. But I guess you are in lag. Why not join the girl at Allen Avenue? Oh, I get it. A freelance actor will be better for you since you are an actress. Meet up with the Anissa Joseph and other high-class Nollywood actress so that they can connect you with rich allergies and politicians who will be censoring your trips to Europe every time. Say no to cybercrime. This was what one of the users back then in 2018 had to say to this actresses. It is so sad and heartbreaking. Well, all in all, what did Lola Magret have to say about this? She didn't deny the fact that she was arrested. She didn't deny the fact that she was convicted or the fact that she opened up on who she was working with. All she had to say was that she trusted a friend and a friend betrayed her. But then she has learned, she has moved on and life goes on. Lola Magret disclosed it in an interview with Broadway TV where a private screening of a movie produced by Fetia Williams was being showed and Lola Magret was in attendance. She said she was betrayed by a friend and it is what it is life goes on all in all i think lola margaret was quite remorseful for what she did why because she first kept a low profile at the same time tried to stay away from drama if it were to be some celebrities use this kind of publicity to gain more attention from the press from fans from followers and make sure to even bag ambassadorial deals as some of these brands prefer actors and actresses who are more controversial than those who are not but lola margaret decided to just keep a low profile decided not to say anything or share her audio but rather she had the part that she was betrayed by a friend and she was a victim of circumstances a sneak peek into lola margaret's biography she was born in elisha a city located in ocean state western nigeria where she went to school finished her basic that is a primary school a secondary school there but then came down to lagos where she holds a bachelor degree in history and diplomacy from lagos state university she lost her parents in 1999 while she was quite young and had to measure up with her aunt being an orphan didn't stop her from pushing through to fame as her aunt was a very supportive her career came into limelight after she played the lead character in the movie called bisola alano which was produced by late alasari Lola Margaret's acting career started after she met Bolaji Amusom. The Nigerian comic actor who is now the Tampan president was the one who introduced her into acting. She met him at a friend's place and immediately relayed to him her intentions to venture into acting. Sequel to her request, he invited her over to Abeokuta where he was having a shoot as at that time. So she shuttled between Abeokuta and Lagos where she was studying. Since then, she has featured in so many other movies and gladly she's back on her feet as she appears on screen once in a while now and in recent movies as mentioned earlier la margaret would have gone way farther in her career as the name has already become an household name in fact she generated the name bisola alano after she came into limelight and she has been known for this due to the controversy of her arrest in the united states and her deportation this has really affected her career as she decided to keep a low profile after the incident happened well guys there you have it do not forget to like subscribe and drop your comment in the comment section below thank you bye